Do you understand this? Neither do I. Welcome to the Sweep Room. Education solution to problem individuals. Psychotic simplicity at its finest. It's essentially a pale yellow box with no windows. There are no fans on the ceiling, only harsh fluorescent lights. They're for function only. If they could have been omitted from this room's blueprint without the architects getting suspicious, they would have been. The floor is one of those typical school floors, designed mainly to hide stains. This is an effective way of preventing students from stimulating their creativity by looking at it. No one can talk here. No one can write here. No one can do anything here. You're not allowed to sneeze in here. Who's talking over there? That's Miss Pips. We all just call her Pips. She's our sweeper today. That's what I thought. That's Willow. If we were allowed to have pencils and sweep, she'd be chewing the life out of one right now. If anyone deserves to be here least, it's her. Where do you think you're going, Willow? It's only 7.46! I'm just a minute too late! You should have been in the classroom. You can't learn anything on the other side of the door, now can you? You can't learn anything in the sweep room either, but I guess that's irrelevant. Please? I'm almost there! C can you just give me a warning this one time, please? Proceed to the sweep room. But Pips! Proceed to sweep. Sweep is used as a correction method for tardiness, as well as PDA, backtalking, vandalism, plagiarism, bullying, cyberbullying, using curse words, and most other messy little infractions. It's like an all-purpose pill designed to cure everything from bald spots to heart attacks. The sweep room does not discriminate based on race, ethnicity, nationality, age, religious views, political views, sex, sexual orientation, or financial status. In fact, it doesn't even discriminate between vandals and people who just fail at punctuality. It doesn't care. It takes us all. talk one more time, I will be forced to sweep you again tomorrow morning. It takes a special kind of person to be a sweeper. But it also takes a special kind of student to regularly get swept. Chewing gum is prohibited on campus. Oh. Sorry. Remove that and throw it in the trash can. No. I don't think I will. Throw it away. Make me. Sometimes, I wonder if Emerson wants to get swept. You're eating a cheeseburger? I didn't know you were a cannibal. Okay. Stop calling me, Derek. Remember what I said last time in your dreams and in my nightmares? So, how's your day? Stop. I forgot. I'm boring. Sorry.
sorry. You're gonna have to ride this back. It's definitely shy. I didn't know this was a costume party. Did you come to Grandma's closet? You know there's a fee for me not kicking your ass. And it's time to pay up. You know if your head spun around on your neck, no one would probably even know. Pips, I gotta pee. Hold it. Holding it too long can cause UTIs. Don't spout false facts. Maybe she could learn some real facts if she were in biology right now. What was that, Ellie? Fine, we are all taking a bathroom break. Stand up in a single file line. Don't talk to each other or anybody else in, you meet in the hall. Understand? What does it take for a teacher to become a sweeper? As much of a stickler for the rules as Pips is, I can't be sure if she really enjoys what she does. The sweepers here are known for not having any feelings. But all that aside, she's still human, isn't she? Hey, Willow! Willow! What? You know, I bet we can bust out of here. We can't do that, we get in so much trouble. Where were you guys planning on breaking out? Are we going to crawl through the window? Was I talking to you? God, shut up. Don't be mean, Emerson. What's going on in there? Hurry up. Well, now we don't have any time to do anything anyway. God, Willow. This week is a really bad time for me, Don. Have you asked Liv Liz if she can do it? Uh, uh huh, I see. It's just that I have a video activity planned for this week and I need my prep to set up for this. I can't be in charge of sweep, sweep while there. What? Oh no, next week they're supposed to take a quiz on this video. Look, I can't. This would be the third time I have to push back a lesson because of sweep. Look, I can just can't do it. Oh, okay, fine. Yes, I'll check my email. Yeah, bye. Why am I here? I'd almost forgotten. Sometimes when I get swept, I feel like my brain gets swept, too. What do you say? Nothing. What do you think? 
Nothing. What do you feel? Nothing. Me neither. What, what does, does that mean? It means we are perfect now. We've been swept clean. You may all go. What did I learn today? Don't fall asleep in class, I guess. I'll have to catch up on the work I missed later. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. What was the homework for today, anyway? Who knows? I forgot. You forget a lot of things while sitting in the sweep room. I might not ever talk to my sweepmates again. Not that I really talked to them at all today, either. Maybe I won't have to. Now that we've been corrected, I think. Willow fears getting swept as if it's cancer. Emerson seems to embrace it like an old friend. Pips? No one can claim to read her mind, but I think she's accepted the policy as a grim fact of life. What do I feel? Nothing. that again? <laughs> An elevator is the prime place. <laughs> Loving an elevator. <laughs> I have an NVIDIA activity plan for this week and I need to 
<laughs> me neither. What, what does, does that mean? <laughs> me neither. What does that mean? <laughs> What if we were trapped in an elevator? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were stuck. We have been standing in an elevator that has not been moving. I've seen it so many times. Bum, 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 bum.